Greetings fellow technophiles, my name is Nathan House and in this video we will explore the privacy and spying nightmare that is Microsoft Windows 10. You will discover what data you have legally agreed to share with Microsoft, plus what the sexy Cortana knows about you and is sharing with third parties and Microsoft. Check out the comments below for references and links discussed in the video. Let's start by saying Windows 10 is unsuitable if privacy is of utmost importance to you. But if you have just a general concern for privacy, Windows can be manipulated into not sending out data, but you're going to find it's an ongoing battle as new updates are introduced and new functionality that requires communicating out of the operating system. Windows 10 is a cloud-based operating system with cloud functionality like synchronization, sharing, virtual assistant. It's designed to communicate out to enable these features. You need to use a Microsoft account. That's one of those internet accounts. It's not a local account in order to use these cloud features. Cloud features such as Cortana. And all this is completely opposed to the goals of privacy. It's actually really not an operating system Windows 10 in the traditional sense. It's an operating system with many, many cloud-based extra features. Let's go through how Windows 10 can affect your privacy so you can make the call on if you want to use the operating system or not. Because there are benefits to Windows 10. It has a lot of great features, but you have to be aware there is some privacy sacrifice to it. Well, there's a lot of privacy sacrifice to it. In Windows 10, data syncing is the default setting. Your private data and software settings will be synced with Microsoft by default. This includes websites that are opened, your browsing history, software settings, Wi-Fi hotspot names and passwords, etc. This can be disabled though. There is the advertising ID. Windows 10 assigns each instance of the operating system a unique advertising ID. This is used to customize ads that are sent to you by third-party companies such as ad networks and advertisers. You can opt out of this and I'll show you how. There's the Cortana data collection. Now, if you go to the Cortana FAQ, you can find out a lot more information from Microsoft themselves on what it is Cortana does and here right at the top, when I use Cortana, what information is collected and where is it saved? So that's at this address here. But Cortana, if you're not familiar, is like Siri on the iPhone. It's a type of voice assistant new in Windows 10. It or she collects all the data that you use. And when I say all data, I mean all data. So I'm talking about browser history, keystrokes, listening to your microphone, search history, calendar data, location and movements, your contacts and relationships with those contacts, payment information like credit and debit card details, data from email, text messages, your call history, movies you watch, music you listen to, everything you buy, and the list goes on. In order to provide a good service, Cortana needs to learn about you, but this does seem excessive, and it's definitely something you should be aware of so you can make an informed choice as to whether or not you want to use the Cortana service. The Cortana service needs to be of sufficient value to you for you to give up that amount of personal information to Microsoft, but this is the new world we are living in, and this is the new world we're moving into. The word privacy will have a very different meaning to the next generation as things like Cortana potentially become indispensable to the next generation. A couple of other things that you're going to want to read if you want to use Windows 10 and you care about privacy are these. First one is the Microsoft Privacy Statement and you can find it here at this URL. And the second one is this which is the Microsoft Services Agreement, which you can find at this URL. When you download Windows 10, you sign these agreements that you are authorizing Microsoft to collect your information and share it with third parties. 
And these documents here that I'm showing you outline their intentions with your data and how they intend to track you. They are very open about it and honest about it, which is good because I think they've learned from the past. So now they're being honest and straightforward about it. But what you're doing is you're exchanging features and potentially great features for your personal data. So let me give you a taste of the sort of data you're agreeing to have collected and shared with third parties if you read these documents here. So we're talking about your name, your email address, your postal address, phone number, passwords, password related information, account access information, teams that you might follow, stocks that you might be interested in, your favorite places and cities, your age, gender, preferred language, payment information such as credit cards, security codes, features you use, the items you purchase, the websites that you visit, the search terms that you enter, contacts and your relationships to them, location information, so either through GPS or by identifying nearby cell towers and Wi-Fi hotspots, and the contents of your documents, your photos, your music or your videos, that you have uploaded to services such as OneDrive. It also includes the content of your communications sent or received using Microsoft services, such as the subject line and body of an email, text or other content of an instant message, audio and video recording of a video message, and audio recording and transcript of a voice message you receive or a text message you dictate. So tell me, what have your experiences been with Windows 10 so far? Have you got Windows 7 and Windows 8 and you've been constantly prompted about Windows 10? Do these privacy issues concern you? Are you considering abandoning Windows because of these privacy issues? Let me know in the comments below. It'd be interesting to hear people's thoughts. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more weekly videos. If you have any suggestions for topics you would like me to cover, please make a suggestion below. That would be really great. If you want access to our full online courses on cybersecurity covering how to fully lock down Windows 10 against all those privacy nightmares, check the link below and you will also find a special discount coupon just for you.